Hey, you all. Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in Columbus, Ohio, and even more specifically than that, we are at the Ohio State Fairground because it is finally that time of year. It is the time of the year where the state fair season is in full effect. Now, on this channel, I have made it somewhat of a mission to visit every state fair. I think, if I've, I've added correctly, I think this is number 12 uh, of all the, the state fairs that I've visited. So we're, we're making some progress. We're uh, out of 50 states, we've, we've been to 12 now. So we're, we're coming along, rolling along. This is, is not something that's gonna happen in one year. This is a, uh, a multi-year project. But today, we conquer the Ohio State Fair. Of course, I'll be trying to, to visit some more state fairs as this season rolls along. But uh, yeah, I think this is one of the earlier state fairs and today is actually the very first day of the ohio state fair so i am very very excited to be here in ohio and very excited to start the state fair season so please follow me all right and as we enter the ohio fairgrounds in the center we have this statue of a cardinal, which I'm going to assume is the uh, is the Ohio State bird. Look over here at the Lost Kids booth. Look who we have! Hey, Piggy, how are you doing? Helping uh, helping keep track of these kids. Oh yeah, we'll make sure we'll make sure no kids get uh, get lost today. And I'm not I'm not missing any kids myself. I've just uh, just came over here to say hello. So do we do we, do we have fives? Awesome. Thank you. Keep up the good work. All right, look who's look who's here to greet us at the Ohio State Fair. It's a it's a Care Bear. How are you doing, big purple bear? Oh, rubbing rubbing your tummy. Gonna eat some good uh, State Fair food today. All right, let's get here and get us get a selfie. And of course, a mainstay of any state fair, the hot tubs. Apparently, a lot of people do come to the state fair to purchase a hot tub. All right, look at this. They have a it's a bobblehead U. If I put on by State Farm, apparently they're they're making custom bobbleheads, and it is. Uh, that is complimentary. You don't have to pay for the bobblehead. I guess we can get in line here and get a bobblehead made. This is pretty cool. All right, so we have to pick our bobblehead here. There's brides, grooms, soccer player, runner, it's a mechanic, musician, shredding, the guitar. Be a superhero, but I don't know. I'm not necessarily a gamer, but I think this looks physically the most like me. All right, and there we go. There is my bobblehead. A little bobbly head there. Like I said, I, I chose the, the the gamer because you know he wears a red shirt, he wears shorts. Kind of looks like me. I can just pretend that game uh, controller is a uh, is a camera. So yeah, it was complimentary. You just had to provide your driver's license, your email, your phone number. So probably State Farm will be haunting me for the rest of my life in exchange for this free bobblehead. <laughs> Okay, I think the best way to get a good view of the Ohio State Fair is to hop aboard the Sky Glider here. It cost $3 for a one-way ticket, so we'll hop aboard and get a bird's eye view of the fair. All right, here it is, sneaking, sneaking up behind me. <laughs> Whoa, watch your head. There we go. And here we head Skyforth. Oh my goodness. The helicopter just took off there. They may be giving helicopter rides here at the fair. And here we're heading over top all the uh, all the delicious state fair food. I guess this is how they get you when you're when you're on the sky ride. All this the scents, the delicious scents of the carnival rise up in the air, enticing you to eat 
the carnival food and then once you get out of the sky you want to come back down over here and get something to eat I've been in this building before this is where they have the uh, oddities and curiosities expos that they've done in uh, in Columbus also have these Ohio state flags here the Ohio state flag is very interesting because it's not shaped like a normal flag it has a very unique shape to it see all the teeny tiny fair goers down there what's going on down there look at those look at those mirror people who, who are they it's like a glitch in reality going on down there tracking the mirror people from up here in the sky definitely want to try to track them down once we get off the uh, sky ride All right, we must find those mirror people. I'm gonna gonna track them down. I don't. I lost track of where they're at, but we're gonna head over here in the general direction where I saw them last. Look, we found them. Hello there. Oh, you're so cool. I saw you guys. I was up there on the up there on the sky lift. I saw you guys. And I had to I had to come down here and meet you because I I didn't even know what I was looking at. Oh, blowing kisses. That's nice. Oh, I love your outfits. Oh, so amazing. Can we can we can we shake hands? Is that okay? Is that okay? Oh. Oh wow. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there we go. It's okay if I get a get a get a photo in here so I can prove that I met you guys. Oh, there we go. So cool. The Lady Without Houdini show ado, here. This is the world's first full view water torture cell. Oh, there's Lady Houdini there. She's gonna go. In the uh, in the underwater cell, like in the uh, like in the Prestige. I'm gonna put on leg shackles, and handcuffs there. Oh, here she goes. We're gonna put the put the lid on and lock it. This all seems rather dangerous. Oh wait. Pull something out of her hair. Looks like she's got maybe a hairpin. Oh, there she goes. She's got one side of the handcuffs off. Working on the other. She goes taking off the feet. Shades. Oh the guy's checking on her. It's her husband checking on her, making sure she's still okay. It's been underwater quite a while. The world's premier female there school we go. Give it up for Kristen Jackson! Wow, very, very impressive. Have some camel rides here. Now I would uh, I would go on a ride with a camel to, you know, patch up patch up our past differences, but unfortunately there is a 200 pound weight limit, so we may not be riding a camel today. Maybe, 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 maybe if I lose some weight, but not today. This is Ships Ahoy, looks like a pirate themed teacup style ride. This hot dog stand here, it's actually called Missing Link Hot Dog Factory, which is an amazing name. But look at this, they also got a little, little train that travels through the front of the sign. Pretty cool. We have a Wacky Shack fun house here, but uh, let's examine and see just how wacky it uh, it is. See, there's a monkey up in the tree. That's kind of wacky. This guy here, this uh, cousin it type guy, he's he's very wacky, very wacky. This guy here, I guess, it's a remote control car. That's not that's not that wacky. But uh, I would I would put this squirrel freaking out at a moderate level of wackiness. And over on this side, you have some uh, substantial wackiness over here. There's Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> I don't know where he came from, but uh, yeah, I got a clown and a big happy worm, some weird fuzzy blue alien there. All right, heading into the Wacky Shack. We got some cars from Cars. We got a bear from somewhere. And you gotta be very careful. These shacks are are just deceptive. You never know when something's gonna trip you here. Oh, we got Smurfette. Oh, see a vibrating because I'm standing on a vibrating platform. See Smurfette's face is vibrating. We got SpongeBob, Shark, Pink Elephant. Oh, 
up. Oh, yep. See, all these fun houses, they like to, they like to mess with your feet and to put you in dangerous foot-based situations. All right, so oh, there we have a horse with glasses and headed through the rope maze here. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Sort of like turn tables here. All right. To the second story. Are you Bugs Bunny? I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Some more turntables there. We've got uh, some punching bags to fight through. Oh, looks like an automatic rotate. Whoa! Just up here rotating on top of the wacky shack. <laughs> this lock with eyes here. Some zany balloons as we get ready to head down the slide. This lady here with all her all her pets. And of course the grand finale. As is most fun houses at the fair, we have the, the rotating barrel. Let's see if we can make it through here in a safe manner. Do like the hamster run here. Woohoo! I'd say as far as wacky jacks go, I'll give that a 7.78577.7. On the wackiness scale. Here we have the Tiki Tunnel. What is inside the Tiki Tunnel? I have absolutely no idea. You see the vicious, the vicious ape there. We got some uh, some uh, hula dancers there playing the ukulele. The orangutan up in that tree. Sounds pretty fun. Let's discover. Let's let's figure out what is inside the uh, Tiki Tunnel. All right, inside. The Tiki Tunnel here. Oh, things are already getting scary here. This woman here looks like she's got some shrunken heads. Oh yeah, this is a this is a haunt. Oh, very dark in here. Oh, look at the lights. Didn't, didn't know what to expect with the Tiki Tunnel. Oh, look at that. The big snake. Yes, oh look at the guy, there's a guy back there. Oh, super spooky skeletons. Oh, it's got a spider in his mouth. Oh yeah, full of spiders. The Tiki Tunnel of Terror. Our emergency exit this way. Actually, the Tiki Tunnel was not uh, open yet, but this gentleman actually saw that I was filming and let me go inside to check it out. But uh, yeah, amazing. A little haunted house here. Like the different type of theming, the Tiki Tunnel, you know, instead of uh, the, the classic haunted house. Very, very cool. Over here we have Quadzilla, which I think is a takeoff of Godzilla. I guess uh, these cars, I guess, I think these are called, they must be called quads. Yeah, that, that's the only thing that would make sense. As, uh, so instead of Godzilla, you have Quadzilla, which is apparently some sort of car. Okay, I see the car there headed over the bridge, over the four-headed uh, four monster there. You have this spinning ride, where you climb inside the chest cavity of a bear and are spun around in a circle. I like to call this ride the Midsummer. We've got one of these classic lion drinking fountains that we can take a sip of water from. Or not. It doesn't appear to be hooked to anything. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing today? Doing good. How are you guys doing? Oh, a super fun day. Super fun day. Awesome. Oh, I like this song. Well, 
fun house over here. It's like a gingerbread house. Looks maybe like this is based on the Candyland game. Let's see some of the characters from Candyland there on the side. Into the fun house here, the candy themed fun. Okay, we get around this big purple hangy thing. See all the twirling obstacles here. Okay, this doesn't do anything. What is, can I even get around there? All right, okay, that is a, that is a little bit of a squeeze there, but that's all right. Oh my God, oh my God. We got some, some elastic ropes. And fight our way through the chains here. Oh, look at this guy here. See the crazy face, I'm wondering if I step on this, if something will happen, let's. Yeah, something happened. Look at that. Of course, it is the summer of carousels here on the Carpetbagger channel. Here we have a traveling carnival carousel. Of course, these are gonna be built a little different from your more uh, stationary carousels. Horses are gonna be a little more lightweight because they have to pack it up and uh, travel with it. Some very brightly colored horses there. This horse has got some green hair some orange-haired horses. Those horses look like they have uh, polka dots. All right, the gentleman at the front told me I was too heavy for these horses, so I have to ride on the chariot. There we go. Here is our, uh, here is our uh, chariot. But I don't mind riding on the chariot. Always a relaxing change of pace from the high impact of being on a racing carousel horse. The only real downside is you have to sit here with three horse butts in your face. Time for the most quintessential activity here at the State Fair. We are here at the pig races. Oh, here they go. Oh, yeah, looks like number one is in the lead there. Oh, no, number four. Number four pulled ahead. Oh, here they go. Oh, they're pretty fast. Number four. Here come the pot belly pigs. They're not quite as swift as the others. Look at them, come on. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, wait. They've ceased. They've ceased moving forward. Okay, here they come. It's okay. It's okay, keep going. Oh, number one's in the lead here. I think this pig here is defecating and uh, those two are meandering towards the finish line. Oh, number one is the winner. Number four, taking up the uh, tail here. You did a good job still, buddy. Better luck next time. Here's the other entrance. We actually entered on the opposite side of the fairgrounds. But uh, if you enter this way, you're greeted by Brutus here, the inflatable mascot for uh, Ohio State. I guess he is a he's a Buckeye, meaning he has a has a nut for a head. One of the reasons that fairs exist in the first place is for people to show off their uh, their farming accomplishments. Here's the poultry and rabbit building. Oh, look at all these geese here. Oh, these are a bunch of cool different types of geese. You can hear them all honking. Honk, honk. Here's the quack shack where all the uh, all the ducks hang out. Oh my goodness, look how tiny that chicken is. Why are you so tiny? And not to be outdone by all these birds, here's some, uh, here's some bunnies. Hey, bunny. And here we find ourselves at Natural Resources Park. And look who we have here at Natural Resources Park. It is Smokey the bear. And he can talk. And he can say people's name and interact. Say people's names and interact with the crowd. How are you doing, Smokey? Oh, he said the thing. How are you doing, Smokey? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing great. So is your name, is it Smokey Bear or is it Smokey the Bear? My name is Smokey Bear. 
Okay, that yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I've been, been debating that for a while. Look at that he's got his belt buckle there. It says Smokey. And I guess I guess he he, he solved the uh, the the long running debate. It is Smokey Bear, not Smokey the How Bear. How old are you, Smokey Bear? I am 78 years old, and I'm going to be 79 on August 9th. Oh, happy birthday, Smokey! Do I see my friend Connor out there? Oh, he knows. Hello, Connor. He knows children's names. Thank you for coming to see me. And I see my other friend Nico. Connor and Nico, thank you for coming to visit. Somehow he's all knowing. He knows all of these children's names. I know all of my friends' names. I see my friends Allison and Oliver out there too. Blowing these kids' minds because he knows their names. <laughs> Here's a uh, pet, pet a crayfish tank here. Oh, there's a there's a crayfish right there. We can. Oh, oh, he wants to pinch me with his with his pinchers. I just wanted to pet him, but I didn't know he wanted to pinch me. Hey, buddy. Don't pinch me. I, I feel like he's going to pinch me if I try to pick him up. Oh, 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 got him? Hey, buddy. And this is a girl. Oh, it's a, it's a boy. See that? Hey, buddy. Right here. See those two things going up that way again? That's the, that's the gonopods are crouched. Like, 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 like gonads. Go, gonopods. Let's take a selfie with Daphne. And check out Daphne. Some sort of giant, horrifying, prehistoric flesh-eating fish. This is the the, the Dunkleo Steus. The Dunkleo, Daphne, the Dunkleo Steus there. Oh, you look down her, her gullet there. A garden here with some scarecrows, and I think these are famous people from Ohio. There's Rutherford B. Hayes as a scarecrow. I think that's uh, Buzz Aldrin there. Famous uh, Ohio astronaut Buzz Aldrin. We have more of a standard Scarecrow there, and uh, that is, I believe, the Queen of Hearts. There's the Land and Living building. Gonna see what's in here. Some baby chicks hatching over there. Oh, looks like that guy hatched uh, just a little while ago. Sleeping off the uh, oh there we go he's, he's completely asleep and he just sprung sprung awake. Welcome, welcome to planet Earth, little guy. This is the Ohio Harness Horsemen's Association. It says, can you find these bones? You can find different horse bones in the bone box. Oh yeah, this box here just full of horse bones. Oh, that's a good one. Oh wait. Oh, there we go. Can you wrap this horse's leg? Oh, I can sure try. Horse leg wrapped up nice and tight. I don't know. Maybe this is in case they like, you know, sprain their ankle or something. There we go. You'll, you'll be on your feet in no time, Trigger. Yeah, there's the professionally wrapped horse leg here. Here's mine, not not too bad for a first try. Pig over here, eating some lunch. Remember, always believe in yourself. Really moves me. Save the drama for your llama or alpaca. I'm not sure which one this is. The USDA booth here. Got some swag, some sunglasses, some fans. A little squishy water drop there. That's pretty cool. Got some swag here. All right, the, the, the guy at the USDA booth convinced me I needed to take the sunglasses as well. I don't know 
I don't know, uh, these aren't prescription, obviously, so I really can't, I really can't see anything out of them. So I'm probably gonna have to switch back to my, uh, my uh, prescription glasses. I also managed to somehow drop my glasses out of my pocket. <laughs> because I couldn't see and I was running into things. All right, here is the full-sized Midway. This Tally's welcomes you to Ohio State Ferry as Tally's, the company providing the amusement park rides. This is the Metro May. You see the different superheroes on there, Iron Man, Captain America. We also got Superman, Spider-Man. And is this, who's this guy? Is this, uh, what's that, Mega, Mega Mind? It's like an old, old CGI movie. And here we go. This is one of the reasons I started going to the state fairs in the first place was to check out the various traveling dark rides. Here we have the haunted house, that horrifying witch up there on the top. Love the artwork on these old, uh, these old traveling carnival dark rides. You can see over here the castle. There are zombies. I think this is some sort of vampiric wizard right here. Oh, look at this. We got uh, we got Lizzie Borden there, peeking out, peeking out the window. Vulture up there on the awning. We got uh, Phantom of the Opera there. This creepy grave digger, some sort of beast through the cemetery. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to uh, to hop aboard. All right, and our chariot awaits. Let's see. Scooby and the gang is actually inside this particular haunted house. Oh, oh, we're going forward a little bit. Here's some screams. Screams coming from inside. Oh, here we go. Headed in to the haunted house. Uh, start right off with the, with the electric chair there. It's very warm in here. Never know what's gonna, what's gonna pop up. Oh, who's that? Who was that? That's a skeleton right there. Ooh, a little bit of air on me. That was kind of nice. We maneuver our way through the dark ride. This spooky lady. Ah, oh, she just turned evil. Oh my goodness. That was kind of fun. All right. And back out the door of the haunted house. Oh, spray a little air on there. Air on me right before I left. Oh, look at that spooky ghost. This right here is known as the Joker. And what's really cool is it has all the Jokers on it. All the various Jokers over, over history. You can see, I think that's the Batman the Animated Series Joker on the car. You have uh, Cesar Romero there. You can see his mustache. You got Joaquin Phoenix over there on the end. In the middle, in the middle, okay, I think that's Joaquin Phoenix as well. But then you got Heath Ledger over here and Jack Nicholson. So uh, pretty much all the Jokers. I think the only one, the only one missing is uh, is uh, Jared Leto. Yeah, where's where's the Leto? And I do like to uh, try a ride I've never rode before whenever I go to a fair or a carnival. So uh, let's hop aboard the Joker. Here we go. Just got a simple seat belt here. All right, and we are on the Joker. Got a little bit of a spin, a little bit of an angle there. This does not appear to be a, a super intense ride. You know, the Joker himself has quite the reputation as being horrible and disturbing, but this, this seems fairly relaxed for something the Joker would put his name on. Still, I'm feeling a little nauseous to be honest. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, ah, I wasn't feeling the best today. I had a little bit, a little bit of a tummy ache, but I was like, we'll power through it. We'll ride some rides. Now, now I wish I had I, I wish I hadn't gotten on the Joker because uh, it's uh, it's causing a little rumbly in my tummy. But uh, if you can see, yeah, I'm the only one on the Joker right now. 
they let those other people off. They let me on. No one else was in line, so I have the Joker to myself. You guys, a POV of what it's like to be on the Joker. See the Joker Hall of Fame there as we spin by. Kind of rotating at an angle here. We got a got a tilt to our cart and a and a constant circular motion. It's kind of just going on forever. I feel like I'm like in a washing machine, just slowly being churned. Oh yeah, you don't close your eyes. That's the one tip I've learned. You don't close your eyes when you're on a ride, especially a ride that goes in circles like this. I um I don't know how it is. There's not a lot of people here right now, I think. Not a lot of people here on the midway. So I think they're just kinda they're just kinda letting me go. Let's see how uh how long they will leave me on the the Joker for. Oh. You see those jokers behind me? I do I do love the art. You know, the one thing about carnival art is it's just completely unbridled by copyright law. It exists in some sort of black hole where uh, you can pretty much get away with using any sort of IP character you wish. Is it slowing down? I think it's slowing down. Oh yeah, I think, there we go. The Joker has come to an end. This is the storm. It seems to have a similar principle to the Joker, but maybe a little more, a little more intense. The notorious spider. Good old traveling roller coaster here, the Iron Dragon. People flying through the loops there. Yeah, I think I think I can't say no to a good uh, good uh, carnival roller coaster. So let's hop aboard the Iron Dragon. Our chariot awaits right here. Oh my goodness! Going up the. Uh, Oh my gosh, going up the first hill here. A little rickety. Remember, it's the first day of the Ohio State Fair. Yesterday, this roller coaster was on the back of a truck. Here we go, cruising, cruising above the midway here. Oh my gosh, look at this drop. Ah, oh, 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 oh my goodness. Tight turns, quick drops. Oh, we're in the death spiral. Alright, another, another turn. Looks like we got a, our last dip coming up here. Oh, oh! There we go. That was the Iron Dragon. Woohoo! Here comes the big drop. We have a miniature version of the Iron Dragon, the Dragon's Nest here. Oh, look at that. See the dragon there, holding a little baby dragon in his hand. That's, that's pretty fun. And look at this, have the little baby dragons here, wearing, uh, wearing little dragon diapers. Here, the strolling piano. This guy's just rolling by on his piano, playing and singing a tune. Just rolling through the midway here. Like they have a second flying elephant ride. This one here is actually just called Dumbo. Now this here is called the Crazy Surf. 
I don't know if I've ever seen uh, this particular ride before. Looks like they're on like this arm that's spinning them, and then they're in like spinning seats as well. So yeah, this, yeah, this looks pretty nauseating. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's being that's pulling someone in a lot of different directions at once. Checking out the different fun houses here. Here's the jukebox music fun house. An interesting variety of musical artists. That's Led Zeppelin. Got Prince over there. Is that Madonna? I think that's uh, Avril Lavigne. I see uh, Kid Rock over on this side. All right, enter through the jukebox here. You can see the ground is moving, the walls are moving. Back to, uh, oh my gosh. I see everything moving here. Is that, uh, is that Brittany right there? Who's this guy? Leave a comment in the comment section if you know who that is. Oh, we got Stevie Wonder, uh, Sharon and Ozzy. I think this is, what, Spinal? Spinal Tap right there? Watch your feet. We're not playing around here. Little balcony here where we can look out onto the midway. Oh, you see Kid Rock right there. All right, back in here through through the chain. Oh my gosh! Then we go out here through the through the chain, back out on the balcony. Watch my feet slide through there. Through the uh, through the bungee ropes, the bungee ropes always always hang me up. More chains. But look at this. This fits in a music themed funhouse. We have more cowbell. All right, got the, the moving carousel there on the ground as it rotates us. Okay, what? This is, seriously, this is making me nauseous. Okay, I need to hop off here. Through the punching bag. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we have quite a few, quite a few fun houses here on this boardwalk. Here's the monkey maze. This is a mirror maze style fun house. Look at some of the wackiness here on the side. Looks like we've got uh, Kermit the Frog there swimming or singing in the swamp. That's old Tarzan there swinging in the tree. We've got this orangutan. Oh, he's got his finger stuck in a Chinese finger trap. There's a literal barrel of monkeys. Oh, flying monkeys as well and a flying pig. All right, head in to the mirror maze here. Let's see, where do we go? Okay. Okay, this is a, <laughs> where am I even going? Okay, looked like literally everywhere was a mirror. These are all mirrors here. Whoa, okay, there we go, backing into here. These are actually pretty tricky. You know, some of the other more permanent style mirror mazes I found myself in often. Carnival ones are a little tighter. But uh, you can still use the same strategy. Like I said, if you use your feet, if you look down at your feet, you hold your foot up to the mirror, and if you see the reflection, then you know it's a mirror. And uh, okay, are we almost out now? All right, okay, I think this, yeah. Here we have the stairs. It'll take us up to the top. Look at this. Look at this ape here is being devoured by baby alligators. And they're eating his face. We've got some uh, crazy carnival mirrors here. Hello! And uh, how do we get down from here? I'm guessing there's some some manner of slide. Oh yes, another slide. One more slide here. 
Check out this. Their pirate ship here is the Black Pearl. You can see the characters from Pirates of the Caribbean there. As the Black Pearl rocks back and forth over the midway. Oh my goodness, I can hardly believe this. They have another dark ride. Oh, so excited. It's fun. This one, the, both the dark rides here are called Haunted House. But uh, yeah, excited to get a ride. Two new dark rides today. Both of them named the Haunted House. Oh, you can see the witch up here talking to the crowd. Her witch cackle there. Oh my goodness. There's a Distortions troll head. Separate Distortions troll head. And we're here. Big gargoyle. I always love uh, the spooky murals here. Oh, who's this hugging the skeleton? And then we got a manticore, a manticore up there at the top. And we're here. This big gargoyle here with the hook in his mouth. Oh, we got the wolf man there. The, uh, the Phantom of the Opera. Some sort of giant man bat. And our chariot awaits. Love these ride vehicles. How oh, they just have the big creepy eyes there on the side. All right, Nosferatu says, keep your hands and feet in the car at all times. I'm gonna pass a portrait. Oh, the skeleton there. It says, stay seated. Oh, this one is very similar to the last. We start off with a guy in an electric chair. Oh, wait for something to... Oh, there we go. Wait, is this like... Is this like the same ride? <laughs> I didn't accidentally get back on the same. Oh, geez, what was that? Okay, saw that effect in the last one too. I don't care, oh, that's cool. That's unique, I didn't see that in the last one. Oh, there we go. Very creepy. Oh, what's this over here, the dog? Got Fido growling at us. Oh, one last. Big scream there. See the double H there for haunted house. Now look at this big guy right here. I thought that was Sasquatch at first, but that's uh, that's uh, someone someone else. He's not completely covered in fur. Now I did try to get on the crazy mouse coaster, but I got up to the front, and the gentleman running the ride said, "No, no, 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 no single riders." And I said, "Well, would it be okay if maybe I?" you know, rode with someone else in their car, and he said, no one wants to ride with you. the Ring of Fire. This is the uh, same style, the same style of ride that got stuck upside down for three hours in Wisconsin. Uh, apparently something, something got jammed in the like bottom of the ride. Like I've heard a backpack or maybe some, uh, some lighting cords got jammed in the bottom of the roller coaster, causing it to stay on top. And apparently, oh, oh. We're not seeing a repeat, are we? No, 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 no. Okay. And apparently, uh, roller coaster enthusiasts don't like to call this a roller coaster. Apparently, I, I've made made people angry by referring to this as a uh, as a roller coaster. I would ride this, honestly. I would. I just have I just have too much stuff in my pockets. Display here is a bear and preparing for ages to be oh, and look 
what we have here, a second Wacky Shack at the same fair. Let's see how wacky this one is. You've got, okay, I'm thinking this one already from what I see may be wackier. We've got a T-Rex granny on the porch knitting. You got these uh, young lovers with uh, some creepy man staring behind them. And just look at all the wackiness going on on this side. Got a guy with a remote control lawnmower. Yeah, from the outside, it almost appears that this wacky shack is more wacky than the other wacky shack, but there's only one way to make sure, and that's to travel through. Oh my goodness. That's the rope bridge here. And then from there, head into the barrel. Oh, very hypnotic barrel there. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. They shuffle past the uh, gorilla here. Whoop. Oh my god. Oh, oh, look at that. Cactus has a hand that's being vibrated by the floor currently. So this big old pickle right there, as well as some cats up with a cat on the label. And uh, a kitchen scene here. For some reason, there's some handcuffs hanging in the kitchen. What kind of a kitchen is this? A lot of slides here at the uh, Ohio State Fair. Oh, oh, there we go. Which, uh, which wacky shack do you guys think is the wackiest? Leave a comment in the comment section. Some games over here. Look at all these prizes. 2v1. Look at this. Over here at the Wacky Wire, you can actually actually win a motorcycle i'm guessing i'm guessing that the level of difficulty may be high on this one i think it's time to grab a snack here at the fair but whenever i'm uh whenever i'm at the fair i like to try to find something strange and unusual to consume maybe almost like try to find the weirdest possible thing to eat and i was just looking over here at the taste of ohio cafe and it says that they have cotton candy Deviled eggs. I think this will be our treat for today. There's different stands of food in here for different types of meat. There's poultry, pork, beef, and lamb over there. But I think this is what we're looking for, the devish, devilishly good stag. All right, and here we have it, the cotton candy devil egg. They're, I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at. There's a big glob of cotton candy on top. The yolk is pink. I guess uh, we'll pop this in my mouth and see what it tastes like. There it is. Beautiful deviled egg. Let me just try this one first. That is egg. That is deviled egg. With a lot of sugar in it. Oh boy. That is very sweet. The yolk is incredibly sweet, despite the whole thing. Definitely got the good taste of cotton candy in there. But uh, yeah, this is one of those things that's like confusing to your brain. Your brain recognizes this as something familiar, but at the same time is completely confused on exactly what you're putting inside your mouth. Yeah, it's like super sweet. So it's kind of like a dessert, but it has like that that egg consistency to it. The, the boiled yolk, the whipped egg, the boi I mean the boiled white, the whipped yolk. Wow, that was something. Who's that? Hey there! Oh, he's a coffee cup. Right here, we have the donut burger stand. I see something much stranger here on the sign. 
What are butt fries? Butt fries, really? I, does anyone out there know what butt fries are? Some examples of their food here. Here's the here's the butt fries, a big steamy basket of butt fries. Billy fry up. We're here at Kasich Hall. It says we have uh, creative arts inside. the art projects here. It looks like the theme was Space Galaxy Adventure. I do love this purple and blue space owl right here. Oh, we have a, an alien there. It says Miss Universe. I guess she is an alien representing her home planet that won the, won the honor of being Miss Universe. Captain Longfellow, the first American wiener knot. So like an astronaut, but also a wiener dog. The cake competition over here looks like the theme was space as well. See the constellations on that cake? Oh, that's really cool. Kind of like the night sky. We got the planets with the uh, the rocket ship coming out of Earth. And oh, I really like this one. The uh, the alien, alien face there. Now these are all very cool. And look, oh, oh look at this over here. We have Space Mountain. And look, look at this cake here. It is a giant wooden cross coming out of a Bible cake. I guess this is all edible. Just imagine, uh, just imagine eating that cake, just eating the cross, eating the giant Bible. Some Christmas trees, I guess Christmas tree decorating competition. Now this is interesting. I've never seen this competition at a, at a state fair before. This is tablescaping. So I guess people set basically set a table, a themed table here. Interesting. Okay, this is a jungle themed table setting. That's pretty cool. It's a miniature competition dollhouse here. Here's the first place miniature. A little living room in there. Here we have a little miniature state fair here. You can see the sky car cable running above the Ferris wheel there. The clowns. Oh, and some Halloween bowling. That's pretty cool. Some crocheting here. Some crocheted address for their uh, there Barbie there, and uh, a little Bernie Sanders in his uh, in his mittens. And down here, now I can't say for sure, but given that this is Ohio, could that possibly be all those little frogs down there? Could that possibly be the Loveland Frogmen? Stained glass competition here. I do really love the uh, second place winner there, the clown holding a spider. Here's a quilt on display here, of course, here at the Carpetbagger channel. We love and appreciate the artistry that goes into making quilts. Have some uh, sewing over here. It's like they have baby blankets. And then this is an angel gown for stillborns. So I guess when a baby is born and is not alive, they make these uh, angel outfits that go on, uh, on the baby. Now this is an art form called felting. This here, it says it is a a troll baby. I, I like the troll baby. The hat from uh, Fantasia. And here's some puppets from that guy, the guy that does the, the puppets. Whole section on gourd art. There's a gourd dog there. Over here, we have a gourd monkey. It's a selfie spot out here. You can get your selfie in the uh, sky car without uh, without actually having to go into the sky.
So I had a wonderful time here at the Ohio State Fair. Again, I think this is the 12th State Fair that I've been to. I have to go back and count them. I need to need to keep a running tally to go back and look at my uh, look at my other videos. But of course, yes, it is now officially state fair season. Uh, Florida has theirs in February, but all the other state fairs uh, are, are starting. Not starting now, but the first set of state fairs are starting now, and they will roll into August, September, October, and then I think. Louisiana has theirs in November. I don't, I'm not going to be able to knock out all 50 this year. The remaining, how many? The remaining, uh, remaining 38. Not going to be able to knock them all out. So, but we're going to try to, we're going to try to take a chunk out this year. I really am, am determined to get out to some of these state fairs and take a chunk out of, uh, out of, out of this project, the state, the Carpetbagger State Fair project. Of course, if you have recommendations for state fairs you'd like to see me attend or any other fairs, I'm open to I'm open to side quests as well. Like last year I went to the Canadian National Fair or the Canadian National Exhibition as well. But uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel in the country, film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, state fairs, and other fun random stuff. If I'd uh, like to help contribute to the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. Trying to take a, a tab of, of, of some of the older pins to bring back so that you guys may be interested in some that have been sold out. And of course doing cameos, personalized messages, birthdays, anniversaries, just for fun. All that information is in the description of this video and all that goes to help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this cardinal high in the air. Till next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.